hi guys welcome to another electronic clinic video tutorial in today's tutorial we will cover number one identifying the type of PLC so far in my previous video tutorials I have been telling you that when we were starting the programming I keep on telling you that first click on the add it and select the type of PLC you are using so today practically I'll show you how to select that and why you select that and how to find out the type of the PLC that you have and number two explanation about the input outputs and other contacts and number three identifying the type of sensors whether it is PNP or NPN type and how to configure each sensor number four identification of sensor wires uh, which one is plus 24 volt ground and which one is the signal or output wire number five connecting PLC with the computer or laptop and number six how to set the COM port and number seven uploading the program and uh, so that's it and let's start with the first one that is the identifying the type of the PLC so this is the FATIC PLC and this sticker has all the informations that you need for example this is FBS 20 MC and uh, power we need uh, 100 to 240 volt AC and it's 50 to 60 Hertz and 36 watt if you watch my previous tutorials I was selecting FBS 14 MA or MC well this time when we will be doing the programming I will be selecting FBS 20 MC so this is from here we read this and then when we start the programming we enter this information and start programming so this was about the identifying the type of the PLC now uh, number second one is the explanation about the input outputs and other contacts so let's uh, discuss this we start with the L and N these are for the live wires and you can see it's AC 140 volts so over here we will connect two wires one wire here and one wire here and now C0 is the common C0 C2 and uh, C4 C6 and Y0 Y1 Y2 and up to Y7 these are the outputs so as it's a 20 20 FBS so it means that it has 12 inputs and 8 outputs as you can see the output Y it's from 0 to 7 means 8 outputs and the and the NX is from 0 to 11 which are 12 so we have 12 inputs and 8 outputs so the, the first row is for the first one and the second row and this second row is for the second one so LN this is L N and that is the dot which is not used and then Y1 so this is Y1 then Y2 Y4 and so on likewise this is C0 and this is Y0 so now on the other side and these are marked with can see plus 24 volt and uh, minus so that is that this one is plus 24 volt and this one is minus and then there is x0 so the next one is the this is the x0 and this is for the SS and uh, I will tell you that what's its purpose and how it can be used so and these so these are all the inputs x0 x1 x2 x3 x4 so on up to x11 and dot means that it is not used uh, now what is this this is used for the uh, SCADA we install a BD card over here in case if you want to do communication with the computers application which is designed in a SCADA program and this one is uh, for the uploading the program so let's open 
so over here we connect a cable to upload a program and this one you will now this area you won't find in uh, 14 fps because 14 fps uh, doesn't support the input output takes it starts from the 20 fps if if uh, you need more extra inputs and outputs then you can add another uh, tag over here and uh, if you need uh, to process the analog signal so then you can add an analog input output take so this is for that purpose okay so this is for uploading the program this is for the scholar communication and this is for the input output uh, takes and these are the outputs and these are the inputs in the upcoming tutorial I will tell you how to use this these common pins and now <clears throat> the third one is the identifying the type of sensors whether it is PNP or NPN type so as you can see it is NPN type and the brown wire is the plus 24 volt the black is the uh, output and the blue one is the minus so as you can see that we have the brow, brown wire which will be connected with the PLC 24 volt and the blue one will be connected with the ground and this is the output wire which can be connected to any of the input uh, pins of the PLC X0, X1, X2 and so on. So I have four of these sensors and I will be using these four sensors in my upcoming tutorials to show you how to use uh, the sensors and so we also covered the uh, point number four which was the identification of sensor wires which one is the plus 24 volt ground which one is the signal output wire so now we are now we will discuss the point number five which is connecting plc with a computer or a laptop so how to connect that for that you will need a usb to serial converter just install the driver and that's it then you will need a cable this one so you will just plug this port into the PLC and let me show you that so it's now connected and I will connect the AC wires to power up the PLC and then we will uh, start the COM port setting and uploading the programming and checking how it works. So I will do the connections and we'll come back. So now the wiring is completed. The, these are the wires which are coming from the 220 volt AC. And these are the sensor wires. And uh, as you can see, all the brown wires are connected with plus 24 volts of the PLC. And all the blue wires are connected with the, with the ground and the black wires are connected with x0 x1 x2 and x3 which are x0 x1 x2 and x3 so now we will connect the plc with a with the laptop and uh, we will do the com port settings and then we will be writing a very basic program and we'll be uploading that program so let's start now as you can see the plc as on as the red light is on and all the four sensors are connected with plc so uh, this sensor is connected with x0 x1 x2 and x3 i've already connected the cable with a laptop through usb to serial converter and now let's write a basic program and check all the sensors and we will also do the port setting so click new and now over here is uh, we are using a different PLC so we will select here the, it is the FBS and 20 and type is MC and click OK OK now let's write a program X0 output M0 X1 output M1 and x2 output m2 x3 and output m3 click f and write n to end the program so now let's start uploading the program click on plc click online so if there is any other port number change this port number 
on which the USB to serial converter in, is installed. So you can change this port number from the device manager and click OK. Now it's giving me error because yesterday I checked it, it was on COM5. So let's confirm this uh, device manager ports. Okay, this time as you can see, it's installed on COM6. So it means that we have to change the port number. So PLC online and this is COM5 so it's uh, that that's why it's not working so click on the auto check and you can see it's suggesting that it's click OK and click yes so uh, you can see now it's working and yes okay so if you go now it's working so let me check all the sensors So, and now it's it's not working as you can see it's doing nothing why because the PLC is not running so click here run PLC and click yes and now you can see it it's not working now okay now you can see this is sensor number 2 x2 and this one is x1 and this one is x3 and this one is x0 so you can see now let's see what's again plc and stop plc yes offline now again click on online we have already changed the port number Previously it was COM5 and now it's COM6. Click OK. The program is uploaded. OK. And then click on PLC and click Run PLC. And yes. And you can see that when I place my hand in front of the sensors, it's detecting. So now as you can see the outputs also so that's it subscribe to my channel for the upcoming video tutorials we'll be making uh, so many different projects share my videos with your friends and thanks for watching